Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. All right, Mario, in Tampa, Florida, what are, uh, what are we here for? Uh, we're here today for a level five horde. We got some tenants. One's been Baker acted, and the sister has told us she needs us to come inside, clean out all the house, get everything situated so that it could be back livable, or if she just wants to save the house and sell it. So we're here to get everything cleaned up, everything trash cleaned out. We do have a couple of items that she wants to save which obviously we're gonna do. We're gonna put that to the side, document, save it, let the homeowner know all about the process of what's going on today. We'll be here roughly a week, trying to get this level five hoard cleaned up, situated so that it's back livable. And we're gonna get started, we're gonna get to it because this is a big job, big process, but got a lot of hands on deck this week. Yeah. So we're here, Yeah. let's get to it. Oh, our gas can. We don't need more of those. It's already been on the washer. Five angle mode. Oh, cucarachas! Oh, it's like, it's like the nest in there. Oh, cucarachas! Anything good in here, Sheldon? Coasters. Let me ask you, what's, uh, what's your name for the camera? Uh, Dylan. Dylan? Yes, sir. Yeah. You said, uh, I heard Shelby saying that you were um, a trainee for a franchise. Yeah, okay. I'll be uh, with Christian out in Winter Garden area. Okay. So you've probably seen some, like, seen some pretty bad stuff too, right? Um, well, this is my second, second week doing it out here with these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, but I come from a moving background, so I've seen stuff like this before. Um, not yeah. as bad, but... We've dealt with the smell sometimes and all these boxes and stuff like that. Right. And uh, how does this, uh, how's this port compared to like all the other stuff you've done? Is this like the worst one you've seen? Or? Um, so far, yeah, this is the worst one just because of the feces inside. But it's not, I mean, the smell doesn't really bother me. Yeah. So, I mean, it should be pretty easy once we get in there. It'll be pretty quick. Oh, just oh. Okay. I was expecting something to jump out on me. You see how I jump back? Okay, that's not bad. It's all Everything trash. should be cleaned up. Yep. Yeah, that's cleaned in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. I'd live in here, probably the house. Like. Mm -hmm. So is that all trash, Shelby? Huh? Everything in like these boxes and stuff? Yeah, we were told by the sister that everything in here goes. So uh, what are you doing right now, AJ? Um, basically, right now we're cleaning up the shed. Um, basically anything that that we know of, like household stuff that says account on it, office stuff, uh, little files we're gonna keep, anything else, just tossing it out. That's really it. Yeah, and I see like these two areas is like nowhere near as bad as the house. Yeah, man, honestly, we're gonna get through, like I said, we already basically done with this last box. Uh, that We jump on that, that's gonna be quick, but the house is definitely gonna take more time than this. Yeah, and, and like uh, your personal experience, is that the worst you've ever seen? Um, like, uh, in a horde or? Mm, far as feces goes and urine, yes, but the last word I just did with uh, Mario, Shelby, and um, Tyrone, it was way worse. We found needles from diabetic, uh, I found a live turtle. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, other than that, I don't, yeah, this one, this definitely is one of the worst ones I've seen so far. Oh boy. Yes, sir. This how you get it in right here, man. So, uh, Mario. Yes, sir. So the dump the dump's full right now, and you have to make a trip over there. Oh, I gotta make <laughs> a trip back. to the dump. Come back. Gotta do it again. Yeah. Go to the dump. Hopefully that'll be the last time I go to the dump today. And then when we get out here in the morning, 
we'll have the two dumpsters on site that needs to be on site. And then we just, what happened? Then right there. So it was some, it was some spray in there though. Oh, that, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Full thing. It's only been like an hour of work too, and it's already full. Yeah. yeah. Told you, we gonna get it done. <laughs> we gonna get it done, we gonna get it done. See no more that's live. Then we good. I was on like live back. Bro, it's like oh you can hear it. It's tough too, like to pull it. It's cool. yeah. This guy. Fresh milk. Shelby, end of day one, how did it go? <laughs> All right, so we were able to get everything out of the shed in the back of the house. We got the garage cleaned up completely. The only thing left in there is anything that we think might be what they want, either be paperwork or something. We were able to clear out the back porch and the kitchen got cleared out but then we put all the big stuff in there and tomorrow when we get the dumpsters we're gonna just pull all that out throw it straight into the dumpster then kitchen will be done we got just about all the living room cleaned out also so all in all we got more done today than we were expecting so hopefully tomorrow we can get started on the bedrooms and the bathroom all right Mario day two so I guess what needs to be done today so we got a lot accomplished yesterday in all reality um we gotta finish getting the kitchen a couple of aquariums inside the living room then we're just gonna work our way to the back there's one room in the house that's actually not that bad but then the other one it's just filled with feces but i mean it is what it is we come out with the goal with the task in hand the crew everybody knows their assignment knows their role we get everything done quick fast in a hurry and we're just gonna get to it as we do always so like I always say let's get to it let's get it Taking them out, 
right next to that. That's where we eat the shots. Stay on, 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 on the ride so you're just doing a different type of work yeah <laughs> this is why I take pictures of everything because definitely can't use this no more. Yeah. Yeah. like pristine. Bro, bro, bro. Oh, we got the dog collection monopoly. Look at this shit. Yeah, What wolf at? <laughs> Yeah, this bitch getting, that one can get through away. Uh, go through all this shit in here to make sure ain't nothing of importance in here. I already found the title to the lady's car in here. Yeah, if not, I'm just throwing away stuff. You can't do that. Yeah. Go away. Get all of it is coming right the fuck up. Cut this wide, I'm Which way you want? You want me to come to you? Roll? Alright. Oh shit, my man. My bad. My bad. Yes, sir. Oh, let me get Yeah, so back it up. Put it on the so that one's the box Everybody's trying to make it seem like this is harder than what it is, but in all reality, this is a cake walk. Just like with people on the news, everybody is afraid of the unknown. But once you get there, you see it, you put your eyes on it, it's like, you made this seem like a big deal for what? You got this. Is it crazy to think that you cool. guys might be done by Look, like today? Like uh, I know we'll be done so tomorrow for sure. Um, when we first got here, here we kind of knew that it wasn't going to take four days. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't like it's such a small house yeah. that we knew it was going to be done in three days. Yeah, because like after after the carpets, I mean, what else, what else is really much to do? Stuff from getting all the trash. Just kind of cleaning up. Well, obviously, we've got to scrub the floor, clean that with some chemicals and. Hey, you know, right down the walls and stuff from the dust. Gets, gets and that's that's pretty much it. But I'm going to do it. So, I'll be out of here. Come up. Damn it. It's got to come up. I got to get a pair of pliers. Hell yeah. For animals, it's animal medication. Oh, fucking batter. 
whole needle right there. A lot of them in here. Too. Yeah. Away, like five of them. If anything, I wouldn't be surprised if she had some kind of vet training. Yeah. Is there thermometers, a... regular thermometers. Are there any loose needles or have uh, they all no, been? No, they're all in packaging. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. Spoke too no, soon. No needle on the no needle go. in it. <laughs> like you've done this before. You got the entire life? Yeah. Guess, uh, why don't you just do the wrap up right here tomorrow, if you don't mind? Might as well. Yeah, end of day three, you guys, you guys fucking killed it today. At least we, down. we try. Like I said, man, we're in here to get this job done. We're in the business of making homeowners and clients happy. And the faster we get our job done, the better off it makes us as a company. So. We get in here, we grind it out, make sure they're all happy, everybody's satisfied with the job that we do. Let them come through, walk through. If they have any concerns, they address them to us. Any final that they want us to do, we get in there. We're in there like swimwear, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I will come back day three. Come back three, day three, yep. grind it out some more, get the job wrapped up, on to the next one. Okay, Mario, day three. Uh, how's it going so far? Uh, majority of the house is done. Um, we got our final clean, got some little bit of stuff in the bathroom and in the hallways and the refrigerator that needs to be cleaned out. But other than that, it's just gonna be a day of basic, just cleaning, making sure that we get everything done, clean and up to standards so that the client can come back inside. And if they wanna sell the house, they sell it. If not, they just get everything redone and put back inside so they can move back in. So that's the game plan for today. Get everything done, make everything nice and neat, and hopefully it'll be the last day for us. It won't be a day for All right, let's get let's, let's do it. it. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Hey, Kay. Oh, too bad the fridge, right? Uh, the freezer isn't too bad. The fridge, I mean, it was kind of cool, but everything's basically spoiled, so that means it's not working right. And you're just uh, spraying it down, Adrian? Yeah, I'm just spraying it. Um, wiping it down, basically pulling up all the good and grime that I could off of it. Huh? Coming right off, as you see. Yeah, pretty easy. Come here. Oh, no, no, not again, not again, no. Yeah, this one. Oh, my God, why? That is the egg and the yolk. Right. That's cool. It looks like glass. basically on stilts. They have a crawl space up underneath the house and all the wood and stuff. So it's like you have your trusses running straight across the floor and then they just build the flooring directly across the trusses. And then whatever floor they put on top, they either tile, vinyl, laminate, carpet, padding, tech strips, padding, carpet, right on top of the free floor. You know how hollow that is when you step? If you were to step through this too hard, your foot will straight through. I see the water's back on. We just turned it on because we need water to help clean everything. 
They gotta replace that whole pipe. Yeah. Because if got that no choice. part's broken, there's probably more of it that's mm -hmm. broken. They gotta replace the whole pipe. They're inside in the bathroom now. I gotta. Here it is. Holy crap. kitchen floor and then the bathroom toilet. So you're gonna take out the toilet for you? Oh yeah. I have no choice but to the homeowners they say they don't even want it no more. Because how all the nastiness that's on it. Do they do they see it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Because I, I scrubbed it, I put part A, let's sit, shockwave, scrub it, you can still see all the foam, all the nastiness, all that. I want to put water in it to rinse to see how much came up. But if the shower doesn't drain, that's coming up. That's good. Shelby, end of day three. You guys are wrapping up. How did it go? It actually went really well. We got done at least a day before we were told. We were told four days you have, and we got done in three. So that's always a plus when we can get done faster than what the clients were expecting. But uh, we managed to get everything up and out, carpet, flooring, everything out. We did clean the floors as best as we could. Fortunately, some of it is not coming up no matter what we do, and most of the flooring is going to have to be redone in this house anyways. But the kitchen looked heck of a lot better. Uh, bathroom, eh, not really, but that's just messed up anyways. But uh, overall, we're all done. We got the job done. Yeah. Hopefully the clients are happy with what we did, and I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Okay, good work. For more information, visit any of our locations.